Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how we are staining our cedar fence. So you can see in the background, some of it's finished, some of it's not. The product that we are using today is called Ready Seal. Um, this color is in natural cedar. I have noticed that it is a little on the red side. The stuff right behind me is actually still wet. I just applied it. Uh, we'll be using our critter sprayer to spray the stain on. You can also use a garden sprayer, which is the stuff that you use to apply to kill weeds or kill bugs, that type of sprayer. It's a pumped action. You'll also want a mask, a painting mask. Uh, you'll get really greasy, so make sure you wear clothes that you don't care about. I mean, my hair is super greasy, if you can tell on my forehead. But just the process of doing this, I will show you as I go along, but I first spray the top of the, the cedar picket and then I go back and spray in between the cedars. I have a quarter inch gap in between each of them and so I go back and stain those just to make sure I get into the grooves. As you can see I've done that already on some of them. And then after that I go back and stain the actual picket. I'm hoping that I can zoom up on that so you can see when, I know, when, when it's saturated enough. Uh, you can do a second coat. I don't think I will, but the choice is up to you. And I'll show you the fence when it's finished, hopefully a couple days after, so you can see the finished dry look because it is different than the wet look. But here we go. week probably two weeks almost since I have stained the fence and I wanted to show you what it looks like after it's dried out and this is actually after it has rained too so this is our fence now a little on the red side from what I wanted but still looks great uh, I mean it's held up really well my husband watered it the fence on accident for quite a while the other day and you couldn't even tell it was wet so it's doing its job so that's good something that I didn't uh, tell you about before I started last time was if you noticed in the video I had things covered with sheets or cardboard boxes so if you don't want things sprayed like plants you can see, me, see my tomato plants right there you do need to cover them that way they don't get oil all over them um, I did put binder clips up with a sheet be behind it on the other side of the fence in some areas so that it wouldn't spray through onto my neighbors side that way I was protecting their stuff also um, the process process for my fence took about three days a little less than three days but uh, it was 
it was really, really hot outside when I decided to just do mine, so I didn't work the whole entire time, so it could take you less, but that is about my time range that it took me. But I did everything front and back, but that is my fence, and yeah, I hope it, this helps you in your staining process. But I also want to show you our um, our gate that we did because it looks pretty awesome. So here's our gate that we're really proud of. Uh, it has a pergola on top. It makes it have a little bit more character to it. Super simple design and we really like that about it. Not, really, not very hard to do it yourself. Uh, you can check out the tutorials on that at my blog at twofeetfirst.net. I'll provide a link below. But yeah, you can go see how we redid our whole fence, plus rebuilt the gate, plus added the pergola. Everything's on there, plus all the other little details about our house are on there also. So go check it out, and I hope you enjoyed this video.